All right, so I'm super excited to bring you guys this video today because, well, this is one of my favorite cities in Colorado. It had a huge part of my, my teenage years and uh, my, even my early 20s, mainly because of the river that's behind us right now. But what is it about Golden, Colorado that rocks so much? Yeah, I mean, not even just our younger years. I mean, we took our pictures here with our son, our firstborn, yep. mm -hmm. our pregnancy pictures here. So, I mean, it, just to show you how beautiful it is, like yeah. we just wanted to capture all of it and the beauty in one of our, like one of the best Well, and what a better life. time in the fall time. You can see the colors already turning behind us and stuff. Oh, and yes. so it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. But today, even though we can go on and on <laughs> about Golden, we're gonna try to narrow it down to the five things that we think that you should know about Golden, Colorado. All right, let's go. Welcome back to the channel. You're watching Living in Denver with your Colorado real estate family, Pete and Chelsea Sweeney. Yeah, and just like always, guys, if you haven't done so already, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps us out here getting the contact content out further. Also, that subscribe button and the notification bell. The notification bell is gonna notify you every single time we put out a new video, and we're putting out two videos a week right now. So go ahead and hit that as well. Um, we're also gonna put in the phone number down below. So call or text us. We are getting your calls and texts. We appreciate them, and we are really enjoying collaborating with you guys um, here in Colorado. Yeah, guys, I mean, we always kind of do our spiel, you know, trying to get you to subscribe, trying to get those thumbs up and stuff. But it really does mean so much just to be able to make those vi these videos for you guys, because yeah. if you're looking at, like, say, even if you're in Colorado where else to kind of move because you're not too familiar with it that's what we're all about is really helping you guys out and I think it kind of warms my heart more than anything kind of giving you guys that 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 inside advice right what's where to be in Colorado kind of where you're at in your life where you should be so um, well, it's, and it's not just, only that too but people have been coming in from Colorado and giving us awesome other perspectives and feedback mm -hmm. which has been really good for anybody else watching this yeah. so if you are watching this and you're new to our channel read the comments too because other locals are chiming yeah. in to give you more perspective you know outside of that so yeah I mean no matter what I mean like I said we've lived here our entire lives we could offer you up as much perspective and everything as we can about these cities but man having that local advice is so huge and it, it's just it's amazing to be able to kind of read those comments to listen to what we're saying and it's like hey I like this. Maybe I'll, I'll dig in a little bit deeper. Maybe I'll reach out to them and kind of ask them about this area. So um, going back to where we're at, though, we approach our videos as natives, yep. as a family, and as your licensed real estate brokers helping you purchase homes in Colorado. So let's go and check out Going From the Skies View, and we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna reiterate a little bit. We're gonna go into five things that you guys must know about Golden, Colorado. First one's being is how rich this city yes. is in history. Yeah, so just reading all the history, because we knew like living here, not oh, yeah. in Golden, but here in Colorado, that yeah. Golden is known for some of its history, but I was mm -hmm. reading, it's just so fascinating, and yeah. we're not even gonna be able to touch on a lot of it here, but we're gonna at least give you kind of a little bit of an update. So. Uh, Golden Colorado was founded um, during the Pikes Peak Gold Rush in 1859. Mm -hmm. It was actually named after Thomas L. Golden. Golden, yep, Golden. And, uh, <laughs> it and, only is in the name. <laughs> and obviously, like, settlers came here because of the gold in um, Clear Creek. 
And so first was the gold. Gold in Clear Creek. Yeah, it, it sounded like you said golden clear creek. Oh, gold and clear. Yeah, <laughs> the gold, golden. the just sparkly, you know, those. <laughs> gold dust! No, no, it's just sand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, the gold in Clear Creek. Then they found that they had such rich soil around here. Mm -hmm. And so the farmers came and settled and, like, actually, you know, was, became farmers in all the soil around the uh, Clear Creek. Um, later on, they came, got, they, they did clay. Um, they did uh, coal mining. I mean, it's just awesome. Like all the different things that, you know, the settlers came here to do because of how rich this land is. Yeah, guys, I mean, so here's kind of a, a little bit of a rivalry, you know, Colorado rivalry got going on. So Golden was essentially the pseudo capital of Colorado when it was a territory. But then when it turned into a state back in 1876, Denver kind of took the title from them. So at first, yeah. Golden was kind of pissed off at Denver over that and such. And I'd be pissed off too to think if you had a title and then someone came and just like snatched it, it out from there. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's kind of BS, Denver. What the heck? Yeah, no it's alright. I love you, Denver. <laughs> but I mean, so I mean, really, guys. So like I said, it was it was a great historic spot. Most of the buildings that you kind of see, where you probably saw on our drive-throughs and our drone, yes. those buildings are over a century old. Amazing freaking buildings. We're talking back to the Wild Wild West, you know, when freaking cowboys were out there doing their thing and stuff. <laughs> Did but, you see the sign coming in? Which sign? Where the Wild West lives or oh, something yeah, like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Golden <laughs> is just, just, it's amazing. It and it's, is. it's honestly like driving down here today. What did it say? Today's a uh, Tuesday. No, Wednesday. No, Tuesday. 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 Yep. I can't believe how many people are out there. Now. <laughs> I saw that they're so having busy. that fe that festival thing or whatever. Yeah, but, yeah. on October third. Yeah, yeah, October third is yeah. If you guys are uh, out here, some check kind of it out. autumn fest. We were like, what? We <laughs> love the festivals that go on in these small little downtowns yeah. of each of these cities because yeah. they are awesome. Well, we'll dig into uh, some a little bit yes. more of them in yes. a little okay. bit further down. Okay. Interesting fact. Probably not for everybody, but I was super stoked about this. Uh, that the uh, birthplace of this was the birthplace of the Jolly Ranchers, which Ooh. I'm like, that is so cool. Like I, I mean, okay, when was the last time you had a Jolly Rancher? I was just, I was just thinking about. It. I don't know. All I remember is what like, what's your favorite flavor? Watermelon. Oh, mine was apple. <laughs> apple. All I used the to way. always get stuck to my tooth though. You know, like you're sitting yeah. there in class, and like yeah. I don't know if they still do it these days, but you can't have candy in class in some of the classes, and I used to suck on it. And he used to get stuck to the inside of my teeth. I'm sitting there with my tongue trying to pry it off. That's really Sometimes funny. Sometimes you'd have to use like the protractor to... <laughs> oh my God. That's really funny because I actually had like a near death experience with a Jolly Rancher. Because you know how you put it like in your mouth and you go like, kind of go like this? Well, I suck... You need to show the camera. I, <laughs> I sucked it in and it like went down and I swallowed it whole, but I like kind of oh choked on it. Come on. <sighs> Yeah, Anyways, Jolly Ranchers are the best. Like, tell me your favorite flavor down below because Jolly Ranchers are the best. Well, I feel like they came out with those new Jolly Ranchers too and they're like mixed what? flavors. No, no, and no. they had a new one that was like super mm -hmm. cool. I was like, yeah, this is my new jam. No, stick with, this is the difference between Peter and I. Peter gets like, tries all the new things. I go to specific restaurants for this exact dish or like I eat the same ice cream all the time. Cookie two step by Bluebell. <laughs> you guys haven't had that, you are missing out on life. Okay, we digress. <laughs> Let's get back into it. Okay. All right, cool. So the what second about, thing. Wait, no. What about um, Jefferson County? Jefferson County. So yeah, so this is essentially the hub of Jefferson County. So you have the courthouse that's right down the street. You have Jefferson Can uh, County's main building that's in Golden, yes. Colorado. So we kind of talked about with Brighton, how Brighton's like the, the headquarters for Adams County. Yes. This is your headquarters for Jefferson County. So kind of cool that you have the courthouse and everything. And it's actually kind of removed from, you know, the proper area yeah. of Golden, Colorado. It's like out of the outside right off the highway, but it's kind of cool that they are the central hub for yeah. Jefferson County. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and it's cool because Jefferson County actually uh, goes up. Like we were talking, if you haven't gone uh, seen our Evergreen. Evergreen movie, thank you for knowing what movie. I was talking. I mean, it's a movie. We made an <laughs> oh my Evergreen God, movie. I need some coffee. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't seen our Evergreen video, go check it out. But you know, Jefferson County goes up into the foothills in the mountains of our, you know, of Rocky Mountains. So yeah. it gets pretty big. Yeah. Okay, cool. what's the All second right. thing that people so must know? So the second thing that we, you must know is the activities in Golden. Oh, and I mean, this is how we started out our video today is yes. Golden, we used to always come up here and we used to do like the summer jam thing. Oh, man. Where, oh, man, it was, I honestly, guys, you're lucky you're seeing me today because I should probably be dead of what I was doing. I was seriously like body <laughs> surfing. This is a calm this portion like calm. of the river. Mm -hmm. Up top, you've got white water, like just craziness. And I was, you know, like 18, 19 years old, just got back from basic training and thought I was invincible like body surfing that thing literally it was like you were like oh man it was just you thought yeah. you're gonna die like every every single drop you're like oh am i gonna drown this time am i gonna drown this time but yeah. golden is just full of activities and actually they cracked down on that because a lot of the floods that we had in colorado this thing it just it, it took some people's lives right and so now they really cracked uh 
bleh, cracked down on that a little <laughs> bit um, because now you know like there's certain months where we're doing that runoff coming from the mountains it's gonna be intense so they won't allow people to kind of get in here but once a little calmer just like this you know we've all we saw a few kayakers over here and stuff great area to kind of take do your kayaking you white, white, white water rafting I'm gonna have another what, what video was that where I was, blah, blah, blah. Evergreen. <laughs> yeah, so obviously when the water is flowing hot, you're going to have your rafters. You're going to have your kayaker, your extreme kayakers. Um, your, I mean, what other great things do they do? There's tons of hiking so, Well, I was going to say, so if you take this river straight up and go Clear Creek Canyon, man, there is rock climbers all over yes. up in there. It's it's super awesome because you're driving yeah. through and you kind of see like, like the right gear just like you. left at the bottom of the mountain mm -hmm. and you just look up, you're like, oh, wow, yeah, he's climbing the mountain. <laughs> yeah, so. it's pretty awesome. They have, um, so also... We're pretty close to Red Rocks. So even though Red Rocks is in Morrison, yeah. we are really close to Red Rocks here in Golden. And so like people will hop over there for the morning. They do this morning workout there where people are doing the stairs, mm -hmm. they do yoga there, all kinds of things. Again, Golden is very active. So, yeah. you know, we've touched on um, Boulder. Uh, what were some of the other, we touched on well, Fort Well, hold Cop. on, hold on. You can't leave Red Rocks yet. You touched on all the morning stuff, but what's the best thing about Red oh. Rocks? I'm like old now. It's so the best. The, it's the best spot to watch a concert concerts, in the freaking world. And I they think. They have the movies too. Okay, maybe I'm boring, but they have the <laughs> movies on the rocks. They have all the concerts. Um, I like went straight to the active stuff because I love. Like it is insane watching these. I saw a guy do like hand like on his hands up red rocks. But I'm just saying. I mean, I'm sure that we have a ton of movie go or music goers out there. They want to know. They like some of the top bands. We're having a hard time talking. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, I mean, Red Rocks, seriously, if you have never been or heard about it or experienced anything about Red Rocks, it is freaking amazing it's to go awesome. there and watch a show, Red whatever Rocks kind of music theater. you like. Yeah, for yeah, sure. It's all just... All right, um, I, just, I had to bring it back to that because it's like you, need, you like you brought Red Rocks down here and Red Rocks is like up here. So <laughs> Love your energy. Jeez. Love digging the energy. <laughs> um, okay, we're also really close to Black Rock. So mm. any of you gamblers out there, we're gamble. not gamblers. No. Game we give gamblers. each other like 20 bucks when we go to Vegas. I'm like, yeah, I'm good. That's enough okay, money. <laughs> here's a little fun fact. His $20 lasts five seconds. My $20 <laughs> lasts like an hour and a half. I'm impatient. I got a, I like got a little bit of ADD with those things. So I'm like, all right, yank it, full bet, done. All right, let's <laughs> go do like, something he goes, else. I'm out of money. I'm like, it's been five minutes. What do you mean you're out of money? I'm playing video poker. I'm like, Shh, video poker. Anyways, that's as, that's as good as we get on gambling. But we, a Black lot of Hawk. my family members. Well, I, I think Blackhawk just opened up sport betting too a year or so ago. Oh. So now you can do sport betting up in Blackhawk, which that's is huge. Fun. Yeah. So all you sport bettors out there, it's, it's all super awesome. They go to Blackhawk to do that now. Yeah, so. it's really close by yeah. too. I can't imagine them not having any kind of transport and stuff like going up and down. Oh, they have mountain. that bus. Yeah. So. Didn't you do that bus with them one time? Yep. So they have a bus where they pick you up pretty much, and I think it's in Arvada, bring you all the way up, you get to have a whole night in Blackhawk, and they take you all the way down. So a lot, a lot of people do it. Yeah. yeah. So going back to like the activities in Golden, like again, this is going to go on and on. We're not going to even touch on some of the things that they do. But one of the big ones down here is Buffalo Bill Days. That is July 25th and 26th. Mm -hmm. Huge event. A lot of people come to that. Yep. Um, I don't know how that's been affected, unfortunately, with COVID, but I do know that it is one of the most popular events here in Golden. Well, I, I so I walked in at one time with uh, one of my uh, a oh, business partners. That. Yeah, yeah. And so we got to team up with the firefighters and kind of do the parade with them and stuff. Super yeah. cool, but just a great time, you know, to have kind of a, a super... I wouldn't call it like super mountain town, but like you got the front range little town that's just like enjoying just bunch of, uh, Buffalo, Buffalo, blah. holy crap, Buffalo Bill days. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, I mean, the kids all out there, you know, the firefighters were throwing them candy. And so there's a big reason that Golden actually celebrates Buffalo Bill. And it's because guess what? His grave is right on top of the mountain. You got Lookout Mountain up there and he has his grave up there. They have a great museum. And so it's super cool. We could go up there and drive up there. They have great views for days that I you mean, could kind of look at. I mean, that's what Lookout Mountain is all about. Yeah. I mean. In, in the winter time, especially when you can't really get outside, it is so wonderful to drive. Well, gotta have a little bit of four wheel drive. It's a little scary on those roads when it's winter well, time. But oh yeah, yeah. But anyways, um, you go up there. It's very dark up there, and so you can over. You got the teenagers all parked okay. on the side doing some stuff. I don't know. I know. We're you like gotta watch out for them. We're like, like hey, <laughs> <laughs> kind of anyway. mess with them. Good flashlight. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> He's already pulled over. He can't pull over any farther. He's feisty today. Okay, but anyways, you go up there and there the views are incredible. Mm -hmm. So Lookout Mountain, like people come here and go up to Lookout Mountain and look at that. So, yeah, and that was just a, the second thing, guys. I mean, we still got three wait, more to go. We're not even done yet. Oh, we're not even done yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the two museums down here. So they have a Buffalo Bills Museum. They also have the Colorado Railroad Museum. Mm -hmm. We've been to the, that. 
I know. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> the railroad <laughs> track goes all along the highway and by Golden. And so they have just really awesome museums down here. And again, they're just like everybody down here is just into that small town feel of like this downtown area, yeah, you know? Yeah, of course. So, um, okay, what else? What's the third one? The third one is the School of Mines. So oh, it's, yes. it's a very science engineering based uh school that's kind of hard to get into guys i yeah. mean it's it's pretty prestigious is, is in regards to like kind of kids coming into it um a lot of uh different engineers i'm trying to think of um like chemical engineers come out of there oil and gas or we uh, petrol engineers i know a few a couple of my buddies who went over there for uh, petrol engineering and stuff but i mean it's a it's a school for the smarties out there for sure yeah. and it's it's a very awesome school so you got golden colorado which is you know a college town and you got boulder colorado which is also a college town the difference between the two of them because of the, how different the diff two different schools are like so you got one school it's a lot harder to get into the feel from here for the college town is almost unseen yeah. i mean you don't see that same typical yeah. party school town because i mean it's full of all the all those super smart kids who are you know <laughs> super interested in their studies right yeah. but it's just a huge difference if you ever experience the two cities very similar in the aspect that they're in the mountains college towns but golden just has a a completely different feel to it yeah you're still getting the activeness and all of that but very different feel as far oh, yeah. and then also if you're driving through here and you want to know what that big old m on the mountain is that's what it is so for school you, mines yeah Yeah. so you'll see a big old m on our mountain over here um and that's obviously for the school of i'll get mines. i'll get some i'll get some video yeah people always ask you know like what's the m on the mountain and we're like it's for the school of mines yeah. so but nobody would really know and it that. lights up at night doesn't it Ooh, I, feel I think like it lights it did up. I feel like this, someone went up there and threw some solar lights in. Mm. No, yeah. it does. It definitely lights yeah, up at yeah, night. Yeah. Because you can see it. Yep. Right? I think so. Fact check. <laughs> 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 They're like, uh, huh. okay. Right. Anyways, the so yeah, School of Mines is here. It's yeah. College town, not the same kind of college town as your typical, you know, your typical college town like Fort Collins or over at um, Boulder, but definitely college town forward yep. School of Mines. So, yep. okay, the third or the what number are we? Fourth. On? Fourth. Fourth. Fourth is the brewery uh, Coors. Coors. So, Coors. and you know, this one kind of like kind of gets me a little pissed off a little bit because Coors just announced that they're moving their headquarters to Chicago. Yeah, I mean Golden, Colorado. It's like imagine you build a business and you make a family out of that business, and then they decide just like, nope, we're going here because of corporate reasons. And I'm like, well, and like <sighs> my grandma worked at Coors, and my stepmom worked at Coors, my best friend's family worked at Coors. It was just like, like one of those places it was that like a thing. you always had a relative growing up in Colorado that worked at Coors, and yeah. it's so like they're they're going to keep the brewery here, so the the large brewery, which actually. Unfortunately, you smell when you're coming into Golden on the oh, on Highway 58. Yeah, yeah. Um, not bad. They're keeping though. it there, and they're actually saying that this whole decision to close down the Denver headquarters is gonna allow them to invest more money into that that brewery and stuff. But it's still kind of, you know, you're taking the heart out of it, right? Yeah. It's like you're you're taking the heart, you're throwing it elsewhere, and it's just kind of angers people a little bit. You know? They still do the tours here um, for the, the for Coors, and so they have the brewery tours and things like that. But yeah, I, uh, anybody who doesn't know that yet is going to probably be pretty be yep. upset about that because it, they're pretty proud that yep. it was here. So Well, so fun fact for you guys. So when we, remember when we did that hike with my cousin, mm -hmm. and I actually, last time I checked, they closed it down because the trail was a little treacherous and such, but you could see the old wooden pipe they used to supply the water from the Rocky Mountains to the brewery. Super cool. You, it was just like, I, like I said, I'm a history buff. I love kind of seeing all those old kind of antique type stuff. And so it was super cool when you did that hike and you could kind of see the old, like, it was almost like barrel style going all the way, running all the way along the trail. And uh, last I checked, they closed it down. I don't know if they were do, uh, redoing the trail or what, but uh, just I love stuff like that, yeah. you know, kind of. Awesome. I mean, they said that like Coors was there before freaking Colorado was here, right? And so yeah. it's just if crazy. you ask any natives here, I guarantee somebody in their family has worked at Coors. Oh, I'm sure. You yeah. know, and my grandma, uh, she used to come back with all the like memorabilia of like the Coors stuff, and it's like yeah, actually worth sure a lot house. of money <laughs> now, though, like the plates and stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. if your family member worked at Coors a long time ago, you have these plates, yeah. right? And they just like they don't really make them, but you don't like they don't just like sell them anywhere, like they got Not these plates of. straight from it. So, yeah. um, okay, let's talk about the thing that makes Golden Golden, and I mean, one of the big things, and that's it's downtown. The downtown, I yep. mean, Golden's downtown, it really, you know, we talked about the Wild West, you know, and that whole feel, and it is. 
it's just awesome. Yeah, Isn't it, is. it awesome? Oh, yeah. like, it's, it's amazing. I mean, they have some <laughs> great food in there. Uh, one of our favorite uh, pizza spots is Woody's uh, Wood Fired Pizza. Yes. And they, they actually tried opening some locations elsewhere, but it's always kind of been, I mean, super hardcore here. It's still here and it's yeah. amazing. Um, but yeah, downtown Golden is just, it's freaking mm -hmm. awesome. Just walking it. Like we said, we have all those, they have all those festivals that they always hold, all those yeah. different um, they activities. They have a ton of um, local shops and things like that. Um, the boutiques we always talk about. Boutique that's his word for boutique. <laughs> um, all the boutiques we always talk about it has a beautiful bridge that crosses over Clear Creek, and it just it's it's a great place to walk. If you live anywhere around downtown, the walkability, like we talk about a lot in our other videos, you know, a mm -hmm. lot of people will move as close to Golden as possible because you could just walk down, get your food, get you know whatever you need, and yeah. then walk back up. There's even um, a couple inns, uh, you know, a couple there. I can't remember Mesa Inn or something. There's a, a big inn that has been there forever um, that you can stay in right on uh, right downtown. And then there's a couple other little hotels and inns. I I think Airbnbs are allowed um, down here. You just have to get it approved by Jefferson County. So there's some nice Airbnbs mm -hmm. in the area that if, you know if you're coming to visit before you purchase. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean it's just it's wonderful. They have statues like little statues. Yeah. Everywhere. So I, I think this is, there's 30 bronze statues mm -hmm. that are scattered all throughout downtown Golden, which is super cool. Like yeah. they have a big buffalo. They have a bunch of different people. Yeah. Um, I'm looking right now. What are those right there? You see those things? I don't know what that is, but we do have a little deer right here. Look at over here. Where? Oh, look at this deer. Speaking of deer, you know, you're you're really close to the foothills right here. You're definitely getting wildlife oh, down here. Oh, you're definitely Like, a hundred percent. Like, oh, if yeah. you live in Golden, you see wildlife a lot. You see deer coming down to, the like, the river. Like, you... Get, Maybe some birds. I don't know. You, you, get, you get some things. Some birds? Some birds. I thought you said birds. I'm like, yeah, honey, there's definitely <laughs> birds here. <laughs> no. Burrs. Oh. Burrs. Some, some burrs. Okay, whatever. <laughs> All right, guys. I mean, here's the biggest thing is Golden is freaking amazing it so is. i mean like i said if you have any other questions about it let us know if you want to come check it out let us know we'll kind of throw you some hot spots that you might want to go to as far as restaurants activities and such and so um no matter what we're kind of here for any questions you guys might have yeah and if you are following us or you haven't subscribed we definitely want you to subscribe Ooh. because the next video we're going to be putting out is what it costs to buy a home here and you don't want to learn all these wonderful things about golden without knowing what it costs so subscribe now so you can get updated when they all post because we want you to, we want to take you through all of what it looks like to live in golden all right guys until next time we love you bye, bye. And although we can talk about the city all day, the things that we're going to be talking about today are the five things that we think you need to know about every girl. Damn it, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong city. My bad. Evergreen. I'm stuck right. there at heart. <laughs> what? I'm like... I totally just spaced out for a second. <laughs> I know where I was at. I was like... <laughs> Hamburger body. <laughs> Cheeburger. Oh, Cheeburger body. <laughs> I need a Starbucks. What? You need a Starbucks? I'm like this. <laughs> just go. You don't have to stop it. Just start it. Everyone's yeah. like squirting water and stuff and super cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Because <laughs> I did this? <laughs> uh. You're the <laughs> <f> <laughs> <roll>. <laughs>